All right, for more than uh, two decades, a first yeah, grade teacher literally. at Eastbrook Elementary has been holding an end-of-the-year celebration with her students. But this year, because of COVID-19, that forced her to get a little creative this year. Yeah, so she put together, you guys, a drive through ice cream party so the kids could safely see each other for one final goodbye, ending the school year on a happy note. Randall Newsom has the story. Special moments shared in this McDonald's parking lot, put together by this first grade teacher, motivated and on a mission for her class. I love my students. I've been doing it 23 years. It's still amazing as it was when I started. I get very excited. And for those 23 years, she's had a tradition with her kids, an end of the year party celebrating all of their accomplishments. But the COVID-19 crisis threatened to end that streak. Because of COVID-19, we want the kids to still feel normalcy as much as we can. Up until this day, they had to do everything virtually. Eight together on Zoom. We had a pajama day on Zoom. We had hat day on Zoom. But she didn't want the year to end without saying goodbye in person to show them. Although we had to have a new normal, that they still feel their sense of accomplishment. We're going to deliver. So we're going to go get their ice cream. We're going to deliver it to each car, and we have goodie bags for them also. They grabbed each kid's favorite flavor, and they had their ice cream party right there in the parking lot. First, we had to get some ice cream reviews from the experts. Give me details. What kind of ice cream are we talking about right there? Well, <laughs> it's actually just chocolate ice cream. I got vanilla ice cream, which is my favorite. I'm really good. I'm really good. I feel awesome. <laughs> but hearing them talk about reuniting with their classmates made this story even sweeter. I'm like really happy that I get to see my friends now, even though we're still in quarantine. I really miss them a lot. At least we could stay in touch with everyone's day. So to pull in here and, you know, be hanging out the windows the way they are and seeing everybody, um, seeing the happiness in her, it's, it's really amazing. This is going to do nothing but make for a great day, and I know she'll be talking about this for days to come. I'm just really happy for them that they got to get together and meet up. Um, it's really hard for them not to see each other every day. We were happy for him. Uh, we feel bad for all the kids that don't get to have these moments together. A feeling that makes them appreciate their teacher even more for making it happen. This speaks volumes about her dedication and support to her students, and we so appreciate everything that she's done. Having her as a mentor teacher, it's something that you can take with you and really grow from it and learn. She's just done amazing, and I love her teaching, and she's just the best teacher I had um, in my entire life. And even though they're leaving her class, she's giving them one more lesson to take with them as they go through life. Even when something is bad, good can come out of it. Bye. Have a good summer. In Indianapolis, Randall Newsom, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you for that, Randall. Mike, I love that she said, even though things are bad, good things can come out of it. And then the little kid that said, she's the best teacher I've had in my entire life. It's just so sweet. Right. I love how the little girl is talking about being in quarantine, you know, learning new words here at a very early age. <laughs> That's for sure.